I'm Rosie. I'm Eloise. I'm Austin. And I'm Harvey. And Leo. I'm James. We are the community leaders of Fairfield Primary School. We're a resource smart school. We're really passionate about sustainability and we also have a really engaged parent community that is incredibly supportive and passionate about sustainability as well. Our school is working to reduce waste. We've got multiple waste streams in the classrooms. That's compost bins, commingled recycling and soft plastics. Each class is in charge of their own compost bin and they'll empty it either in the normal compost bins outside the 1-2 building. We also have solar compost cones. Yeah, they'll get eaten up by worms. Yeah. We'll try and minimise the amount of plastic that goes into lunch boxes. We promote new food in our newsletters so that parents can learn about it. We are aiming to make all of our school events zero waste. We have wash against waste, we sort out our waste and we encourage people to bring kick cups to events such as fairs. We are working to support the circular economy and we recycle our paper waste and it is sent to a local recycler and made into cardboard boxes. We also have a second-hand uniform store. We've also switched to using a local supplier in Coburg rather than overseas for our uniforms. Our school is looking to conserve energy and one way we have done that is by putting a reflective layer on top of the gym roof. We've also put fans inside the gym to increase natural airflow. These two things means that we can use the gym all year round. Before we had installed these, it was two weeks each year that we couldn't use the gym because it was too hot inside. In 2018, our school put in LED lights. These lights reduced our energy use by 57%, saving us $3,000 per year. We installed technology that automatically turns off air conditioning and lights when you leave your room, saving around $4,700 each year. Solar panels that have generated around 52,500 kilowatt hours since they were installed in 2012. Quite a few of the things that we've done will pay for themselves over time by reducing our bills. We have a planned installation of an 80 kilowatt solar system on top of the gym and that will make our school net zero emissions. We're also looking into water tanks to um, flush the toilets and water our gardens around the school to reduce water wastage. Our school is really committed to buying green products and we have made a policy about it. For example, we only purchase 100% recycled paper, that's our paper in the classroom, tissue paper and toilet paper. Nature is very important to us in our school and so is connecting to it. We've planted over 470 plants all around the school and nesting boxes, that was another one of our working bees. All the work we've done around the school has helped kids um, connect and learn from nature. We send home information about walking, riding or scooting to school. And we've also got racks out the front where families can put their bikes. For any school wanting to start out on a similar sustainability journey, one of the best things that we did was start an environmental and sustainability working group where a bunch of dedicated parents as well as teachers got together and dedicated time to talking about uh, sustainability. We also signed up to a program run by Sustainability Victoria called Resource Smart Schools. This program gives some great starting points for schools and we definitely recommend schools joining that. The students are so naturally drawn to looking after their world and being an active contributor to their world and wanting it to be the best place it can be. We're really pleased with everything that we've done, but we're also excited about some more things that we're going to do.